garden today talking about planting hedge. It's very much hedge planting season, winter time, don't want to do it in the summer, that's far too much stress on the plants, far too much watering for you to do. So now's the time to do it. The first thing you want to do is mark yourself out a nice straight line, or maybe you might want to have a circular line. But anyway, so you're going straight, you just need to put in a post, put in a cane, tie a bit of twine, a bit of string, and then feel along the line to keep yourself nice and straight. Because if you haven't got a marker, it's very easy when you've got your head down to do it. you've decided on your varieties is to work out the spacing of them. Now we're going with beach hedging here, we want quite a quick result, so we need quite a lot of plants for that quick result. We've got about four a metre here, just about one every ten inches. Now rather than going in a straight line, we've got the opposite, they're diagonal to each other and that means it's going to thicken up a lot quicker and it's just going to look better and fuller in less time. Now because we are going to be doing lots of plants close together, Rather than digging loads of individual holes, we've just dug a trench. And uh, we're very lucky it's sandy soil, so that wasn't too bad. Clay soil would be a bit different as well. Now, the outside of the sandy soil, it hasn't got a lot of facility to it. So, if you want to do that again, we add a bit of compost beforehand. And we do that again when we're planting. You don't want to go overboard because if you've got really rubbish soil and then you're putting loads of goodness roots just want to stay there with the goodnesses and you want the roots to spread out so don't give them too much but just a little bit to help them along. You, there's also other things you can add like bone meal, the mycorrhizal fungi. Now I've also had another advantage that there isn't anything here. This is the start of a garden so I've been able to dig my trench and just chuck everything out of the way. If you've got lawn I'd strongly recommend if you can get a bit of plastic sheeting, something like that and you can dump it onto that and that way you're not making a mess of the lawn can easily tip it back in again. So coming to planting, I'll just add a little bit of compost there just to help them along. Now, I'm going to show you here bare root plants. What that means, it's naked in the bottom half. So rather than being grown in a pot, it's been grown in a field, dug up, just jungled up, bagged up to stop it drying out, and then you're going to I'll show it with a box because it's a bit easier to see because it's got the leaves on it. So what you want to do, luckily you've got your line and ours is at ground level. So that's showing us the height we want to go. So you don't want to go too high, too low. That also makes it easier because we've got the trench. We can really spread out the roots. So what you don't want to do, you don't want to have a really stingy hole and it ends up with sort of roots poking back up again because they're just going to dry out and they're not getting goodness and you don't want them really tight bundled in in a tiny hole. You want them to spread the wings. You want them fanned out, because the wider the area, the better anchored in they are, the more nutrients, the more water they can get up. So, this is easier. I often end up doing jobs in the garden with my hands. Less fiddly than trying to use tools. So you're just gonna backfill that in until that was all level with there. Now, anything you're planting, you wanna firm it in don't go overboard though. You don't want to be really ramming anything down because you're going to lose all the air from around there and it's going to make it harder for the roots to grow as well. So, just about another 100, 200 maybe to go. And then when you're done, make sure you water it in well. If you're growing against a lawn or anything, make sure that you have given it that bit of space that they're not competing against any other plants for the first year.